Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is now highlighted as a disturbance. So that tropical wave that I've been talking about in my previous videos uh, is going to be merging off Africa soon and the likelihood is increasing for us to see tropical development of this system. And is this going to be a threat to the Caribbean? Well, before I go into details, Okay, so let us go ahead and start off with a view of the uh, Atlantic Basin right now. We do have some shower activity here and there. We see that uh, well off the east coast of the U.S. We see that in the Gulf of Mexico as well as the Caribbean. And of course, out in the main development region. But going further west, just uh, inland of western Africa right there, where we see that shower and thunderstorm activity. That is where we... Uh, we need to watch as we're going to be heading into the early part of this week. Once that emerges off Africa as a tropical wave, uh, it is likely that there will be development because conditions are expected to be favorable enough to allow that to happen. So let us go ahead now to the National Hurricane Center's five-day outlook. And so we're seeing that there is a 20% chance for development, but even though the chance is low right now, remember that this is just identified. This is the first disturbance in weeks out there. And so so uh, in the early stages of it being an identified system, being watched, the chance is not usually high. However, as time goes by, once favorable conditions are going to be persistent, then we will have an increase in this chance. And also note that we don't see an X. Usually we see an X. And the reason for that is because that low pressure system is not yet there. But once it is, we're going to see that X to show its location, guys. But uh, development is becoming more and more likely off of this wave once it is going to be emerging off Africa. Now, what are the models expecting? Let's go ahead and take a look at them, starting off with GFS. And so this is a map that is uh, really colorful and might be a little bit confusing, but we're just looking for a circular motion of the black lines. And the black lines, they're known as isobars, which indicate areas of equal pressure. When they're in a circular motion with the pressure uh, below 1013 millibars, that is a low pressure system and can be a tropical cyclone. And the closer we have the black lines, uh, the steeper the gradient which means that those winds are strong and so this is by tuesday the 9th of august and we see that we have a 10 11 millibar low pressure system just to the south southwest of the cabo verde islands and uh we don't see much organization with it we're not really seeing those isobars however as we head to wednesday the 10th of august here we have a lower pressure of 997 millibars and we see those isobars being a little bit compact so uh, definitely a tropical storm that GFS is expecting by this point, although I'm a little bit hesitant about this and I will explain why uh, later down in this video. Now we're going to Thursday on the 11th of August. Here we are seeing a much lower pressure of 986 millibars and so this is probably at hurricane intensity at this point here and then eventually we have the system weakening likely due to the dry air out there and also uh, some strong wind shear as well, but the pressure is at 1,009 millibars by next Saturday on the 13th of August. And so we're seeing more somewhat of a northwestward like track, and that is due to that high pressure system not being so strong. So this system here is just going on a more northward track once the high pressure is not really uh, being a hindrance for it. So it's just moving on that northwestward like track and trying to curve around it actually. So that is why we have that northwestward motion that GFS is expecting. And so with that motion, then it is getting unlikely that the Caribbean will be impacted by this thing here. But please note that this is over a week out and there can be a lot of changes between now and then. So I'll be keeping you guys updated. So now let's go ahead and see what the Euro model is expecting for the system. And so Euro is not expecting any major intensification is what the GFS is expecting. By the same time, August 13th, we're seeing that uh, we just have this 
week 1011 millibar low pressure system out there and that is the time when euro is actually expecting some intensification because going to august 16th now when it is uh, located to the northeast of the leeward islands we're seeing that we have a thousand five millibar low pressure system so the lower the pressure the stronger it is and that is what we're seeing with euro so euro is not expecting a strong system compared to gfs and i would be more on the side of euro because of all the dry air out there so looking at the dry air map right now with the saharan dust uh we're seeing that we have quite an abundance still out there uh even though there is somewhat of a decrease in the quantity of it so if the system was expected to be moving more on a westward track and that high pressure system being strong enough to continuously steer to the west uh then i would be going with what gfs was expecting in terms of it intensifying and and potentially reaching hurricane status. However, uh, if it is going to be making more of that northwestward track, it could be accelerated into more dry air, more hostile conditions, and that is going to be limiting uh, how intense the system is going to be. So I'm personally not expecting that we will see something very major once the system is going to be having a more northwestward or west-northwestward like track. Uh, just because there is so much dry air out there. And there is also the wind shear. Once we have strong upper level winds that are going to be interfering with the system, then we can definitely expect a limit in the intensity that is expected as well. So there are multiple factors to consider here, but one of the main ones is of course, all of that dry air. However, let's go ahead and take a look at the ensemble tracks and see what they're expecting from both of our major models. So starting off with the Euro ensemble tracks. And so, uh, this is by Thursday, the 11th of August, and here we are seeing this cluster of the various members, and we're seeing that dark blue shade with some of them, and those are actually indicating about 40 knot winds, which are tropical storm force. And so as we head to Friday the 12th, we're seeing that uh, there is some sort of a consistency with these various members here. However, as we're going to be heading to Sunday the 14th of August, we start to see a bit of change here. So these members are starting to become a little bit more dispersed so some of them show in a track a bit closer to the caribbean however let's go ahead and take a look at what the gfs ensemble tracks are showing and so this is the same time thursday the 11th of august and we're actually seeing here that the gfs ensemble members are a little bit more dispersed than euro at that time and then uh going all the way down to tuesday the 16th uh this is the overall tracks that the various members are showing and we're seeing that most of them are expecting that this is going to be remaining out in the Atlantic and maybe being a fish storm, which means that it's just forming out in the Atlantic and not really going to the Caribbean or the US. It's just going to be curving back out there. And so guys, as I said, we definitely have to wait and see what's going to be happening, but changes are inevitable. We're talking about the weather here and there have been countless times where something is expected for this very long time, but then some unprecedented changes take place. So of course, I will be keeping you guys updated with what is going on out there but that is what is expected we have the tropical wave uh that is submerged off africa and once it does uh in the presence of the optimal conditions then it is and it is definitely going to be uh, developing and intensifying. And so guys, that is really it for this update video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.